Welcome back, super stands, to D and J React, where music sparks conversation every day. In today's conversation, we've got Pablo featuring Josu Akala. This is his brother, by the way, that he's doing a collab with, which I think is really cool. Um, so a little bit about this song. Akala was conceived during the pandemic when Josu had him listen to one of his beats with a partial written verse about finding escape and getting wasted drinking. Um, while both of them have different perspectives about alcohol consumption, the SB19 leader and main rapper found it intriguing and interesting enough to revisit the track and improve some parts of it. Even though we have different practices in terms of drinking, we agree on the idea that alcohol <clears throat> is not the answer to the problems. The talented multi hyphenate explains, I asked him if I could also write my verse in the song and tweak some parts and he agreed. I didn't want the song to just be about getting wasted so I thought of a way to introduce my perspective through rearranging the letters of Alak and that's how uh, Akala materialized. My mother also pitched in a line in the song and it made more sense. Um, the breakout artist behind La Luna sums it all up. Everything that I have released so far features intense and heavy instrumentation, but Akala follows a completely different direction this time around. It has more laid back, dreamy vibe to it. That's pretty cool. Hmm, that's cool. <clears throat> his mom pitched in a line. It's like a whole his family. Brother, his mom. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah, this is going to be sick. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in. That's good. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. I didn't know he even had a brother to begin yeah. with, much less him collabing with his brother, which I think is super like wholesome that he brings his family in yeah. to um, do the songs with, just like he did on Napa with his mom bringing her up on stage. Like super wholesome, man. The, this is his brother rapping right here. This, this part. is his brother rapping. He's good, man. Dude, I like it. Yeah, it's good just slow. Like a family of talent. <laughs> I know. I mean, that was like super fast pace and on point, on rhythm. Like, sounds amazing. Yeah. But really impressed so far. the typical thing people drink assuming that it all fixes all the problems everything's <clears throat> just gonna go away and get better yeah dude the next day you just feel 10 times worse you wake up oh, hungover dear. feel like shit and your problems are still there they didn't go away uh so drinking is a is an antidepressant or depressant depressant right? yeah, yeah so it's a neurotoxin makes you, makes you more depressed by drinking yes. it's almost like it's almost like if you're already sad and then you like go and listen like you go lay, and lay in your dark room and listen to more sad music to like yeah. make it even worse. It's kind of the same thing with drinking. Like yeah. kind of just make your problems even worse. And yeah. honestly, um, people somehow get trapped into doing that like over and over I and know. over again to forget everything. Alcoholism. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've had a couple family members fall victim to, yeah. you know, it's drinking all the time and stuff. And they're like completely different people. And like, you don't even want to be around them. That's how, that's how much alcohol yeah. messes people up. They become toxic. Yeah. And like, if you drink too much, actually, you can have like seizures and yeah. a whole bunch of health liver problems, disease. liver disease. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's kind of important. Like if you're, I don't know, I feel like if you're feeling down and you're feeling really shitty, like go work out. 
Yeah, do something positive like, to bring yourself up, feel get, empowered. Get the energy out of you. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it makes you feel better because you look better. Yeah, exactly. Versus like drinking and you got that fat gut. Beer gut and you just like, feel like crap, shit. depressed. Yeah. Hungover. It messes <laughs> up your sleep too. Yep. Alcohol messes up your circadian rhythm like terribly to where you can't even sleep correctly mm -hmm. anymore. Which Start having if you insomnia. Ever, if you ever... Uh, have gone a few days without getting sleep, you feel more depressed. Yeah. So the alcohol is making you depressed, then you can't sleep, which is making you're you even more depressed. And, and your just... problem still didn't go away. Yeah. <laughs> it's still there. Terrible. <laughs> Shat. I was trying to figure out earlier what that meant, and it's cheers. Cheers? Shat is shat. cheers? Yeah, shat is cheers. Oh, I thought it was like shit. <laughs> that's what I thought, because that's like what it shit. means. It, like, yeah, it, like, shat like, over here is like shit. Oh. But there it means cheers. I just saw it in the uh, title there. Interesting. Yeah, because well, I saw the first... Shat, everybody. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, in the very beginning it said <laughs> shat, and I was like, wait, why would you want to do that? And then, like, in the U.S., it means shit. I thought he there was saying shat cheers. as in, like, shat, like we're going back to drinking again. Like, you shit. Oh, like, shit. Pissed. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, here we are again. <laughs> but, no, nah, okay. So All right. Totally shat, different meaning. Shat. Cheers. <laughs> kind of cool with the video how everything is like distorted like when you get drunk everything is distorted yeah where you see things perceive things it's kind of the same imagery within the video itself it's you know what cool. i never understood um is like when people do some dumb shit when they're drinking and then they're like oh i don't i was drunk like i don't remember what i was doing bro i've drank like a full bottle of whiskey a full bottle of Patron like when i was like young like 19 20 mm -hmm. i got alcohol poisoning like, like shit like crazy alcohol. I was drinking for like eight hours straight and I was like mixing jello shots, beer, tequila, rum, mm -hmm. everything under the sun you can name. I, I drank for like eight hours straight, hardcore drink. You mean you were 21, right? No, I was like 19. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And um, I got alcohol poisoning to the point where like I threw up for like six, seven hours straight. I was oh. just in the bathroom and it felt the next day my ribs were like oh, broken yeah. from like throwing up so much. But anyways, Going back to where people say, like, make excuses, like, oh, I don't yeah. remember what I was doing. Bro, I had alcohol poisoning. I almost died, and I remember everything. Of course. Yeah. So the it's an excuse for people. Yeah, I was going to say that's a 100% it's excuse. Because if I had alcohol poisoning, I was on the verge of dying, and I remember everybody, what everybody said. Yeah. I remember everybody around me. My brother was taking a video of me. <laughs> like, I remember everything. Yeah. So I think it's a, such a bullshit excuse for it people. Is. Like, I don't remember I was drunk. Yeah. Like, bro.
cool, man. Such like simple video, like the visuals are so simple, but like so accurate, like with the table, the alcohol, everything kind of blurred. waving and blurred. Yeah. Yeah, very really good. cool. I'm uh, like I said, I was shocked to know that it was his brother mm -hmm. in the video and even more shocked when I heard how talented his brother He's was. He's really good, man. He's really, very really good. good. I hope they, I'm surprised that in the SB19 group, his brother wasn't picked as one of the group members because- Yeah, yeah, I wonder why. Maybe he can't like dance and stuff like as good as the other guys or- uh, yeah, I don't um, know. I don't know, there's a lot of things that play into being a group member. I mean, you gotta have like the full package. Yeah, you gotta exactly. have the work ethic, the drive. You gotta always be somewhere doing something. Yeah. So maybe, you know, his brother didn't wanna do that, but I don't, I can't speak for his brother. I have no idea, but I know you gotta be Definitely. a full package if you wanna be in a boy band. Or maybe he just wanted to do his own thing. He wants to be solo. Yeah, well, apparently he has his own music too. So we'll have to check more of his stuff out as well. Yeah, he was amazing. Really good. If you guys have any Joe Sue songs, please let us know in our community chat on our Patreon. We'd be more than willing to do them for you guys. Um, this was a 10 out of a 10 collab. Yeah, that you know? was very good. Was I like that one a lot. Um, also guys, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. We are giving you guys uh, seven days for free on Patreon to check out everything. All of our exclusive content we have over there, jump in the polls, jump in the raffles, get your songs played instantly. Also, thank you guys for all the love and support. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.